Hello friends, so today I'm going to be showing y'all what I ate last week. I'm going to be showing y'all every single meal, every single snack, every single dessert that I ate, every beverage that I drank throughout last week. I personally am a huge fan of these videos. I love what I eat in a week. I watch them literally all the time. I get a lot of meal inspiration from them. I honestly am just comforted by them because I love watching people make food. So yeah, that's why I wanted to do this video just because it's something that I love to watch. I had a lot of fun filming this. It's weird like not filming my meals now. I'm like, wow, I actually don't have to film this. <laughs> Since this was my first time making this type of video, my angles were definitely not on point. So I promise I will work on that if I do this again, which hopefully I will because I really liked it. So hopefully I'll like it too. If you do like these types of videos and want to see more, please give this video a big thumbs up. It would really help me to know if you want to see them. This is not me telling you what to eat. I'm just trying to give you meal, snack, dessert inspiration. Also, I don't have a diet that I follow. I pretty much just eat dairy free and then I'm mindful of all the other things I put in my body. I feel like I eat a pretty balanced diet of plant-based and also eating meat. I pretty much just eat chicken and turkey, but I'll just have like about one meat a week and then make like a few meals from it. Then my other meals are plant-based proteins, which is mainly beans because I don't really like tofu or any like fake meats. I really believe in like a balanced diet. You can have your cravings, you can have your sweets. I feel like it's all in moderation. I really hope y'all enjoy the video and get some inspiration to cook yourself a good meal. Let's just get started with Sunday. All right, so it's actually been quite a hot minute since I have filmed this video. For breakfast, I had this peanut butter and banana on toast with cinnamon on it. Sunday breakfast. For lunch, I just roasted some Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes with some salt and pepper, avocado oil in the oven for 40 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm constantly eating watermelon. These Brussels sprouts games do be crunchy. We also got some quinoa cooking up with some veggie bouillon. Also, I definitely need some caffeine if I'm going to be studying. I'll probably have this a few times throughout the week. So I'll just go ahead and show you my recipe. This is gonna take a lot of discipline and a lot of thought to do this because every time I eat something, I'm gonna have to tell you what it is. So first, get your glass of choosing. Fill it up with probably about like, I don't know, would you say that's like a fourth of a cup of water? Microwave hard for like 30 seconds. And then get your maple syrup and your matcha and your cinnamon. So then I put like a little dribble, two little dribbles of maple syrup. And then I put cinnamon in. And then I also put this water in and the matcha. I normally don't like putting hot things in plastic, but this is kind of necessary to ensure that there's no clumps and I can't stand clumps. Y'all kind of saw a version of this in my last video where I made boba. And then I blend that up. <laughs> but I think I've discovered this way of making it with maple syrup instead of sugar. Since then, I wanted to have my matcha in a way that I wasn't eating like sugar every time. Obviously maple syrup is still sugar, but it's just like unrefined sugar. It's a better sugar for you. And so then you have this like foamy, watery matcha situation. And then I fill it up to like a cup line. I said in that video, like I filled up a cup cause I just got tired of measuring on this when I used to make it all the time. So I just did a Sharpie mark of a cup line and I just fill it up to that. And sometimes I'll fit a little farther, just depending. Just because I put so much water in it now, it makes me use less milk. Get some good ice cubes. You gotta get a good area for the good money shot. Oh yeah. If I was some fancy YouTuber, I would probably just whip up some like fancy tahini dressing. Also, the other thing that like literally every other YouTuber does is like, they never show what they do after like they take like the cute shot, you know? Do they actually eat it all separate? Because that actually weirds me out. I have to mix like all my food together. I told you you'd get me in more watermelon at her. I just snacked on some tortilla chips while I studied. Oh my gosh, so I've literally been doing up for like the last four hours and i finally finished it but <laughs> nothing makes sense so we love that i need to take a break and i also need to make dinner i don't want to have the same thing that i had for lunch and i also don't really have anything else i think i'm in the mood for just like a chocolate smoothie i'm gonna put some kale in there just so i can get my greens in and i also have really been wanting to make granola so i'll probably do that as well i know this lighting is really good and this is my like wonderful thrifted t-shirt that I love so much. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so dead. And we have a study session tonight to like help us, which 
hopefully it'll help. I'm just gonna go ahead and whip this up and I'll tell you in the voiceover what I end up doing. But I just really wanna watch YouTube while I do this because I've been using my brain for way too long. So the smoothie, milkshake, whatever you wanna call it, consisted of frozen bananas, frozen kale, cinnamon, protein powder, cacao powder, agave, oats, almond butter, and almond milk. And then I also made some granola that night and I didn't follow a recipe, but I'll put roughly what I did down below. Then Monday for breakfast, I just had that granola with some bananas with almond milk. And then I snacked on a little banana bread muffin my mom made for me, more watermelon. And then for lunch, I roasted up some chickpeas with some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and avocado oil in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. And then I just put together my salad with lettuce and then this leftover Zaxby's raspberry vinaigrette. I massaged that, put some shredded carrot, tomato, cucumber. Then I put those crispy chickpeas on there with some more dressing and it was a beautiful salad. Then I had made these cookies and they honestly weren't the best so I won't be linking the recipe because I do not recommend. And yes, I ate all three of them. And then on Monday night, I got in some ground turkey, cooked this up in a pan and I saved half of it plain and then half of it I seasoned with taco seasoning and I made some guac. And then I assembled my beautiful burrito with some refried beans, the guac, salsa, lettuce, the taco meat. Oh yeah, chipotle who? Meet my favorite glass. It's a on the border salsa drop. Lovely juice of choosing. Nothing like OJ on the rocks, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all are liking this mix of like halfway vlog style and halfway voiceover. It's looking like this morning it's just gonna be a banana type morning. Some days I'm just not feeling as hungry. I forgot to video last night, but we went to a local ice cream place and I got a coconut based chocolate fudge ice cream and it was so good on like a vegan cone. So it was like all vegan, all dairy free. It was so nice. I'm still feeling kind of full and a little like off from that this morning, which I don't know why, cause there was obviously no dairy in it, but I think it might've just been the amount of sugar. And it was like super rich. So. Cheers to a simple breakfast. Oh yeah, she's cute. Another day, another burrito. Wednesday morning, I had some orange juice and banana bread, and then I decided to make a smoothie as well with frozen mango, frozen strawberries, frozen kale, some of that orange juice, water, protein powder, almond butter, banana. That's like literally my go-to smoothie. And then I snacked on some pepitas. For lunch, I basically had like a taco salad slash nachos. There are gonna be so many clips of me eating watermelon. All right, so my class actually got canceled today, which is really exciting. Who would have ever thought that a summer class would be canceled? I'm still gonna try and be productive, but I have like three hours that I normally wouldn't have. I made these like super good cookies a few weeks ago and I followed a recipe roughly. Then I made them a second time and they weren't as good. And I think it's because I used quick cooking oats instead of rolled oats. And I also let the batter sit like in the fridge for a few hours instead of just like putting it straight in the oven. But I only have quick cooking oats. So I'm hoping that it was just the fridge thing and not the oats thing because I really want to make these cookies and I really want them to be as good as they were. Also, I started editing this video last night and I realized that pretty much every every time that I put spices in it. You can't see what they are, but I'm planning on having them in a voiceover and it's pretty much always salt and pepper and if there's a third one, it's garlic powder, literally every time. And this recipe actually is vegan. It calls for a flax egg, but I don't have any flax. So I'm just gonna use a regular egg because I'm not vegan. But I'll link this recipe down below. Why is my freaking applesauce Frozen. I mean, it was sitting like in the back of the fridge, but still, that doesn't give it a right to be frozen. Okay, well, I'm just gonna not use this applesauce and I'm gonna put it in a different part of the fridge so that it will defrost by the time I need it next time. I have this little guy. I should probably like <laughs> pull up the recipe because I definitely don't remember it. I remember I did apple cinnamon. The absolute best healthy oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. That's the ones that I made. The only thing that I do different, it calls for a fourth of a cup of coconut oil. I just do a fourth of a cup of applesauce. And then I don't put unsweetened coconut in there. Three fourths of a cup of oat flour. I'm gonna keep her out because I'm gonna put the wet ingredients in the bowl first. Cause I'm not going to do them separately like it says to, cause I'm a rebel. And then I'll put half of a cup of oats in here. I really don't need to talk through all of this, but we're just having fun. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. I literally never measure soda. And then I add cinnamon. Then vanilla, which I also never measure. I just put a little splishy splash in there like that. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do a little less. I did about a fourth and then plus like half of a fourth, so like an eighth. It's not as dry as last time, so that's a good sign. Maybe I just like completely forgot an ingredient last time. It calls for half of a cup, and I do remember I only did a fourth of a cup of this because these are mini, so they distribute pretty well. I need to switch this around so you can see the magic happening. And then the trick is to wet your fingers to shape them. Now time to put these little bad boys in the oven. They don't look the prettiest, but I know they're gonna be so good. Obviously, we're not just gonna bake them and not try our work. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, now I gotta be productive. Oh my god. So I just got back from working out. I worked out for an hour and then, and then I went on a walk with Sarah for about an hour. So, I've pretty much been working out for like the last two hours. Just trying to get them gains, you know? So I'm not like super hungry, but I know I need to eat. I finally finished the taco seasoned ground turkey. Originally I was planning on alternating, like having spaghetti and then having like tacos slash burrito, whatever I made. But I just really wanted burritos, you know, that many times in a row. Now we're getting around to making the spaghetti. The noodles I use is just this whole wheat spaghetti from Walmart. I feel like I'm also gonna make a little side salad. I feel like such an adult doing that just because I am hot sweaty and I want something like refreshing but I'm just gonna get a little bit of lettuce and then I have those cucumbers the other day I'm not gonna put the tomato on it but I'm gonna chop up this cucumber. I'm just gonna put a drizzle of avocado oil on it just enough to have some massaging and then I'm just gonna put some garlic powder on it. I had this like garlic infused oil one time at my gammy's house and it was pretty good. And then I'm gonna put some pepper on it. Might as well do salt while we're here, I guess. Literally everything in this video I massage. It's okay. We love that. Our side salad is ready. This is the pasta sauce I'm using. It has sugar in it. One day when I have more time, I'd love to make my own pasta sauce. I know that the Prego one has sugar in it too, so I was like, might as well get the cheaper one if I'm gonna be eating sugar either way. So there's my logic. So yeah, my plan is to boil the noodles, cook them, drain them, throw some turkey in there, throw some sauce in there. Call me. I might as well make some garlic bread while we're here. I really don't know how I'm gonna edit this video. And I've been watching what I eat in a week since I've started editing this and I realized that a lot of people do talk for everything. I'm gonna toast that a riddle and then I'll put butter on it and then garlic powder. My bread is frozen, so like I always have to toast it. Just thought I'd let you know that. And it's just 100% whole wheat bread that I toast every time because I freeze it because I don't eat bread fast enough and it lasts literally forever. She sounds like she's boiling. I'll probably just do like two servings for her. Every time I cook pasta, I'm like, are too much or not enough. I'm gonna do like this much. Should we do it like the wanky way? The wanky way. I don't know what other word there is. Should we do it like the sketchy way of just like, oh yeah, that literally works perfect. Like you get perfect distribution. And then we're gonna put some garlic powder on her. I'll be back when I put this masterpiece together. Oh, here we are. I actually only had enough for those two. If you haven't noticed, I'm definitely like a banana a day type person. <laughs> so I just whipped up this dressing. I'm just gonna make the rest of my salad while I'm telling you about the dressing because you've already seen the salad once. The only thing is new is the dressing. All I did was go on Pinterest and look up Dijon mustard salad dressing because I just got that Dijon mustard and I wanted to figure out how to use it. They're pretty much all Dijon mustard vinaigrettes, which I was surprised at. I was kind of wanting more of a creamy dressing, but it is pretty creamy looking. Hers was definitely a lot more vinaigrette-y. So I just put vinegar, oil, salt, and pepper, and then Dijon mustard. I'm just gonna massage my greens with it. I just went ahead and shredded these carrots earlier. I started having shredded carrots in my salad instead of just chopped carrots, and it changes the game. And then I also went ahead and chopped up these tomatoes earlier. What else do I have to add? I was thinking about adding sweet potatoes just because I have sweet potatoes that I'm not eating, but I'm not gonna do that. I will add some quinoa out of here because none of this really seems appetizing, which I know is horrible. I'm still gonna eat this, obviously. I don't know why. I think it's just because I left the skin on the sweet potatoes and it's just really not hitting the same. But I definitely need to just go peel off the skins of them. I was really trying to be like less waste, you know, but. I need to try and make something else out of these Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes because I feel like I'm already tired of this. Maybe just like roast them again. Also, I made some sweet tea earlier. I wish this was like a more satisfying shot. And there she has the beautiful salad. I'm focusing on not getting too much dressing. And I probably have like one salad dressing worth of that as well. So I will be having another one of these salads probably tomorrow or the next day. So this is gonna be my lunch. I'm also gonna bring a few of those cookies. 
it's Friday. I forgot to film last night. I really was gonna film like a cute clip of Chick-fil-A because I went with Sarah, but I didn't. So it's fine. I get the grilled nuggets, eight count, and a medium fry. No drink. It's cheaper and it's less waste than like getting a drink. So I really don't feel like eating breakfast, so I think I'm just gonna eat a banana. I'm gonna have the most random lunch ever because I don't really have anything. I just have that one thing of spaghetti, which I'm gonna have tonight because I'm gonna work out after class. So I wanna have something that has a lot of protein in it. I have been neglecting my hummus. So I'm gonna chop up some carrots and eat it with some hummus. I have a full on um, avocado in here that I forgot about. Oh wow, she still looks so fresh. This has literally been sitting in there for like three days. Get you some beeswax wraps bow time. That's all I'm saying. I think I'm gonna make like a little avocado on toast and then have carrots with hummus on the side. I promise if I do this again, I will really try hard on my angles next time. Also, I know that this is probably making you cringe, me smearing this on here like this, but it's basically already smushed, so I didn't feel like getting out a whole nother utensil for it. Now I'm just a salt and pepper kind of girl on my avocado toast. I actually haven't had avocado toast in so long because the last time I was gonna make avocado toast, I was like, eh, I just really want guac. So then I made guac. Here's my beautiful mortgage board. Did y'all ever have those when you were a kid? Cause I definitely had them all the time. So I'm definitely like rushing really hard right now. This isn't gonna be a good angle. You're not gonna see anything, but I'm just gonna talk while I'm doing things because I'm really rushing. I don't know how the heck it became literally 8.50. How the heck did that happen? Time really got away from me. I had class, I got done with all my homework, thankfully, and then I went and worked out, and then I went to the grocery store, and then I just got back, haven't eaten, I haven't made my lunch for tomorrow. I have to do so much preparation the night before that I work and I like to be like chill by like 8.30. That didn't happen. I haven't showered yet. So I'm just really glad that I basically have all these ingredients prepped and also that I won't be home to see what a mess the freaking kitchen was gonna be because it's not gonna have any time to wash any dishes. Like how the heck did that end me? For my lunch tomorrow, I'm literally just making a salad that I've had twice already. For my dinner, I just warmed up my spaghetti leftovers. I really thought we were gonna have like a whole evening tonight to like chill, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm just gonna eat the rest of this watermelon spine because there's like five pieces. Two cookies. I eat a banana for my pre-breakfast. For actual breakfast, whenever I get a break, I'll eat these muffins. And then for dinner, I don't really know what I'm gonna eat yet, but I'm definitely not gonna have time to eat them because I'm either gonna eat just like an apple and peanut butter here. I'm going to do a movie night tomorrow night, and I might have a piece of pizza with cheese peeled off of it because I have no shame in doing that. <laughs> it's all good and dandy. Tomorrow will be a good day at work. I'm also packing some sweet potato chips. Because I definitely don't feel satisfied with a salad, even though there's plenty of things in it to satisfy me. I just crave something kind of carby. I put some sweet tea in a container to take. I'm gonna just chill and eat my dinner. And then I'm gonna go take a relaxing shower. And then I'm gonna go to bed. That's all I'm gonna say for today. Probably won't say anything tomorrow. And then I'll do my outro probably on Sunday. I'm so glad I got to eat with you all week. I can't believe I actually kept over that. I only missed like two meals. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. All right, so that is what I ate last week. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. It's been a lot of hard work and a lot of discipline, but I really did enjoy it and I would love to do it again if y'all want to see it. If you're gonna try any of the meals, let me know down below which ones you would try. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you would subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.